हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम बैक टू आर चैनल दैट इज़ क्विक लर्निंग आर टॉपिक ऑफ प्रेजेंटेशन इज सेवन वेज टू टीच क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग इन एलिमेंट्री एजुकेशन सो दिस इज़ अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट टॉपिक एंड ऑफ अटमोस्ट बेनिफिट्स सो इट इज़ इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर ऑल दी स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ ऑल दी एजेस एंड इवन दी मेच्योर वंस सो क्रिटिकल थिंकिंग is very important for the students of all ages as i mentioned before so you must uh, see this presentation and understand it for yourself or even for your kids so defining critical thinking so critical thinking is the awakening of the intellect to the study of itself it's like the thing that is already present in your mind you just has to awaken it awaken your the intelligent side portion of your brain so this is a bit more professional and a clear definition like critical thinking goes beyond memorization encouraging students to connect the dots between concepts solve problems think creatively and apply knowledge in new ways despite myths that critical thinking skills are only applicable applicable to subjects like science and maths the reality is that these skills which are based on the evaluation and application of knowledge are not only vital for success in all subject areas but everyday life as well so this is a very important thing to remember that many people think that critical thinking is only for science students but the reality is opposite you need critical thinking in your daily routine in your daily life even if you have to take a bus or transport from one location to another you have to be critical in critically intelligent to select which transport suits you the most which saves your time money and which is comfortable for you as well then the problem solving loop so first of all you have to identify a problem obviously if the problem exists then you have to start critical thinking then you have to explore information and create ideas every problem has some information regarding why the problem exists and what g- what thing you want to achieve then you have to select the best idea from the list of ideas then build and test the idea and last one is evaluate the results is this idea is applicable or not the idea should be feasible feasible and applicable so now the critical thinking exercises for elementary education now i will tell you some exercises that will increase your critical thinking and especially this is designed for elementary education so number 1 ask questions so asking questions especially open ended question gives elementary school students a chance to apply what they have learned and build on prior knowledge it also allows them to solve problem and think on their feet and boost self esteem by providing an opportunity for students to express themselves in front of their peers so this is the most most important point i uh focus on it that this is the most important thing to ask questions so you should uh, tell your child to ask questions to their teachers professors or even to your pa- to their parents can encourage decision making so since a large part of teaching critical thinking skills revolves around applying knowledge and evaluating solutions so elementary school teachers should encourage decision making as much as possible so this enables students to apply what they have learned to different situations and they should weigh the pros and cons of a variety of solution then decide which ideas work best this will help them in their few later life also they will be confident in making a decision because decision making is something that involves in your daily routine then work in pro- groups so excellent way for elementary school teachers to encourage critical thinking skills is work in groups so cooperative learning not only exposes students to the thought processes of their classmates it expands their thinking and world view 
by demonstrating that there's no right way to approach a problem so working in groups makes you diversified you deal with different people different brains have different ideas and then you will learn from them and people will learn from you then fourth one is and incorporate different point of view so some of the very best critical thinking exercises for elementary school students involve exploring a concept from multiple perspectives so this tactic not only establishes that an idea should be assessed from different points of view before an opinion is formed it gives students a chance to share their own view points while listening to and learning from others so this is um, connected to work in groups obviously if you work in groups you will uh, see the other points of view as well and then fifth one is connect different ideas so connecting different ideas is a key to teaching critical thinking for example the elementary school teachers can ask school students if they know anyone who has to take a bus to work and if so why it would be important for that person to also have a train schedule question like these help general consider different situations delayed buses for example and potential solutions taking the train instead helping them apply prior knowledge to new contexts this is a very very uh, best example given here very simple and easy to understand like like if suppose you are taking a bus from your school to home so should it is important for you to consider the train schedules or not obviously it is because there can be a delay bus or you want to reach something at uh, let at more fast than a bus so this is very good example then inspire creativity so imagination is a key to teaching critical thinking in elementary school teachers should should seek out new ways for students to use information to create something new art projects are an excellent way to do this student can also construct inventions write a story poem create a game sing a song and obviously sky is the limit and last one is brainstorm so brainstorming a time honored tradition in elementary school and education it is an excellent learning tool it also an excellent exercise especially when paired with visual elements that bring original thinking and classroom discussions to life so that's all from our side thank you if you have any question then feel free to comment us and kindly like share and subscribe uh, this will help us a lot and uh, kindly tell us which topic do you want to so that i can make a presentation on it and uh, what are your suggestions you are feel free to comment us or message us and kindly subscribe our channel thank you